NZXT Cam. Monitor your games while playing. To learn more about it, check out the description. Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is in fact time for Badger's Picks for the week of April 5th. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm gonna recommend. Free this week, we're gonna see Ezreal, Alawi, Jarvin, LeBlanc, Poppy, Rek'Sai, Thresh, Boris, Zillion, and Zyra. For my first recommendation for the week, I'm gonna give that one over to Varus. I still really enjoy the Varus playstyle. I still actually think he's impactful and actually has been coming back a little bit in the meta. Um, so realistically, when I play him, it's in mid lane and it's as that poke style damage. You know, you don't build crit, you just build pretty much armor penetration and attack damage. And what you do is you're able to shred through very squishy targets with a build like that. Um, it's really good for poke siege comps. It does actually okay once you get a Lord Dominix against tankier teams, because it will start to shred through them quite a bit. But realistically, it, it basically will force an enemy team to go for hard engage initiations. If you have a proper team comp for kiting and peeling, like, like if you have a, a Janna or just any other champions that are really good at doing that, maybe a Gragas, then you can really effectively use the poke mentality and the sieging mentality with the rest of your team quite well to get turrets, to get objectives, to push them back when you're maybe wanting to get an objective yourself, or maybe to push them off of objectives. It's good to get them off your turrets and off of dragon, off of baron. Um, it's really fun to play. It takes a little bit of time to learn because it's a little bit different than I think a lot of champions in some cases, but I think it's super fun. He's definitely a good champion too, so um, try him out if you have not played him. He's uh, kind of a blast in my opinion. The next champion I'm going to recommend for this week is going to be Javin the Fourth. Um, he's recently got buffed, and it has made him a stronger champion. Maybe we won't see him instantly with the changes become like a top top pick, but they are way more impactful than they used to be. He is uh, like the changes on his ultimate Cataclysm for sure. Those are some of the nicer ones, where anybody caught inside Cataclysm will be taking the Cataclysm damage, which is pretty huge if a team does clump up. Um, if you see the full AD Jarvan Half-Life an entire team with essentially one ability, it's because it's going to start to happen in some cases. If you see anybody starting to do um, squishier um, damage dealers up top or squishier team comps in general, um, Jarvan just absolutely wrecks them with a, a quick easy combo in my opinion. So I think he's also very fun to play for a champion that we don't see all the time. And when we used to kind of see him way back in the day all the time, but not so much recently. So um, the changes, like I said, were very impactful and very good. So if you want to try him out and don't own him, now would be a good time. As for my third recommendation for this week, I'm going to give that one over to LeBlanc. Now, LeBlanc has been seeing her power rise up mostly because they've unnerfed her. And by unnerfed her, I mean... Previously, I think the missile speeds were the big issue with her when they nerfed her. They made them a lot slower. It made it uh, more difficult to land your abilities in a very good and accurate, succinct order. And uh, like one of the big ones was chains. Her chains moved too slow to hit targets that were moving, to be honest. Just, they were too slow. It didn't feel good for her kit. But they have changed those and reversed those. And realistically, her damage has always been good, depending on the player and how you've done in the laning phase, and whether or not you've been able to get any kind of kills or assists early on in the game. But the reason why she's starting to get more power is we are seeing tanky teams. Now, obviously, she doesn't destroy tanks. That's not the reason. What's happening is, behind a tanky team, you typically need to have very good damage dealers. And as we know, most damage dealers are very squishy. She's quite good at getting around team fights and to the back of them to annihilate these squishy targets, and that makes her very vial or valuable champion to have on your team for those instances. She's not exactly the easiest champion to play, but she's not exactly the hardest either, in my opinion. Um, it really doesn't take too much work to start to feel like you are doing a significant amount of work with her. So if you do not own her as a champion, I would recommend you play her this week. She's very, very impactful, especially in solo queue if you become quite good with her. She typically doesn't pull any bans, and if you're good with her, you can run the table and kind of force teams to really feel like they need to surrender at 20. So um, try it out this week if you do not have her. And my final champion recommendation for this week is going to go over to Poppy. Poppy is the best top laner in the game right now, or jungler, maybe support. Poppy's just really good in pretty much any of the three roles you see her in. Um, probably see her in top lane the most, at least in the LCS and in pro play. 
Granted, she can be played to what I think quite as amazing success in the jungle. We don't see her quite as much there in the pro play, but trust me, just in normals or in, in solo or just the normal game, she's very good in the jungle too. Um, support Poppy also can be good. It's a little bit more difficult, I would say. Um, she's very tanky and she can do some good initiations and she can get around fights in clever ways, but if the enemy bot lane is um, aware of Poppy and plays around it smart, she can usually have not the funnest time. Kind of similar to Trundle. Trundle can also be very good at being in your face, but he has some other issues too, where he's a little bit weaker early. Just depends on really the bot lane matchup. But Poppy's just insanely strong right now. A lot of people are wondering when she's going to be nerfed. Here's the only problem. She probably will at some point get a nerf just to switch the meta up a little bit and because Riot likes to keep new champions coming in and other ones falling out and then they, you know, it kind of, it's a circle. If you haven't been able to notice over the past few years, that's what they do. But Poppy's strength really comes down to the people who play her. She's in a good spot to do all of the things that she does right now, but realistically, I don't think any of her damage numbers are ridiculously overpowered per se. Um, but like I said, they'll probably nerf him at some point to get her out of the meta if she's in it all the time. Or maybe the natural meta shifts that do occur, maybe we'll see her fall out of favor. But for now, she's very strong, and I suggest you play her. Those are the champions that are free this week. Those are the four I'm going to recommend you try playing. Obviously, there's some other good champions in this. Um, I think Ezreal's a little overrated. Obviously, I'm one of the few people who feel that way, but I see him lose way more often than he wins, so there's that. Alawi's kind of got a crap late game. Um, but she's newer, so you might want to play her. She's not she's not bad early game. If you can get a steamroll in early game in, in top lane, you can probably actually do some work with her. Uh, Rek'Sai has always been a strong jungler since release, so she's good. Use her if you want. Thresh, the best general support in the game. Zillion, still don't f haven't figured out where the hell he fits in the game, to be honest. Still working on that on the tier list, too. And Zyra's my homegirl. She's like one of my favorite champions. Um, if you want to just carry games of support, you play her. But those are the champions that are free this week. Obviously, if there's a box around him, you can click on it. It'll take you to some type of a video for that champion. But other than that, I wish all of you the very best of luck this week on the Fields of Justice.